Hello my beautiful souls, this is Moonseeker of Light Guardian and today I'm doing an angel reading. So this is angel messages, they are giving you advice on your relationship. So this could be any type of relationship, doesn't matter how you label it, uh, twin flame soulmate, boyfriend, girlfriend, ex, whoever, whomever, the person you're watching this for. So let's see what the angels have for us today. Let's start with some angel answers. What do the angels have for us today? What is it they want us to look at when it comes to our relationships? First card here is yes. Yes to what? What are we saying yes to? What is the angel saying yes to? What is coming in? As I cut the deck, I see wedding. So some kind of commitment. I'm saying yes to some kind of commitment. Let's see what else we have here. We have stay optimistic about your love life. So yes, you need to carry on and stay strong. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Don't close yourself off. Your love life will change. For those of you who are single, for those of you who um, are in some kind of um, gray zone with your partner, Things will come around. Things will change. You just need to stay positive. Stay positive and know that this too shall pass. Whatever bump in the road you're experiencing right now, the angels are saying, yes, this will change. This will most definitely change. What else do we have here? We have here the king and the unicorn. So authority and diplomacy and good fortune and friendship. Whatever is happening right now, it's going to take diplomacy to resolve it. If there's this bump in the road where you, you guys perhaps can't see eye to eye, or for you guys who are single, you um, have been really hard on yourself. You've been really hard on yourself and you've been not speaking to yourself with love. It is time for you to be a little bit more diplomatic towards yourself. Use words of kindness towards yourself. We have good fortune and friendship coming your way. There's a unicorn coming your way. Someone rare and magical is coming your way. So stay optimistic about your love life. And if you are in a relationship, this person is going to step up and become a, step up into the king's energy and be an authority figure bring about good fortune and long lasting friendship they're going to step into the unicorn energy and start creating some magic some magic within your relationship what else do we have i like this what else does the angels want us to know what do the angels want us to know we have your helpful people so helpful people are going to help us as well when it comes to bringing about new romance in our lives, bringing about being optimistic about our our um, our love life. This is also saying surround yourself by helpful people. Don't surround yourself by the people who are bringing you down, putting you down, the naysayers. Be careful who you surround yourself with. Be careful who you give your energy to and whose energy you allow into your 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 field. So what about helpful people here? Helpful people will help you look at the red flags. The red flags when it comes to a connection, the love, the um, red flags when it comes to 
um, perhaps a, a new love interest coming into your life. If this is just saying pay attention to the red flags. This doesn't mean that this person is absolutely not for you, but you need to be aware of the red flags and then make an informed decision if this person is for you or not. Because this could be the one. This could be the one. Yes, you still need to look at the red flags, but are they deep deal breakers for you? And also, just because this could be the one doesn't mean, for some of you, that you should go with this. Pay attention to the red flags. The red flags are telling you this is not for you. Just because this could be the one, emphasis on could, doesn't mean you should go with this person. You've already met this romantic partner you seek. This could be in an ex coming back in, but things ended for a reason. Remember that. Look at that. So let's start here with pay attention to the red flags. We have Sphinx. Choose your words carefully. So this pay attention to the red flags. There could be something in the words, in how they talk to you, in how you guys communicate. That's perhaps where the red flags will show up. This that's perhaps what um will trigger something your words might trigger something within them and then the red flags will show up we have gate as well here a barrier keeps you from your goal you see here this could be the one but there's a barrier it is closed for a reason because of the red flags pay attention to the red flags there are people around you who are more than willing to want to help you not to help you because they are being uh, selfish or they are just wanting to not see you happy, but genuinely have your best interest at heart. It is locked for a reason. So let's have a look at this could be the one. We have... The talisman, you are destined to succeed. So no, even if you don't go with this person, you are destined to succeed when it comes to romance, when it comes to relationship. This is not your only option. This is not the only person for you. Just because they come back and they offer you something, pay attention to the red flags. Remember why it ended to begin with. You are destined to succeed regardless. So you don't have to take any and all an offer that's presented to you just because someone's offering you something. It's not always for you. And you will know because you are paying attention to the red flag. One last card. We have the chalice. Rejuvenation and fulfillment. This is also for me like the ace of cups. It's about filling up your cup. And also seeing that person that's coming in who's offering something. What is in their cup? Is their cup full? Or is the cup they're offering you empty? So pay attention to all those things. Pay attention to what is being offered to you. Also, fill up your cup. Rejuvenate. Find your self-fulfillment. Fill up your cup so that you can recognize a full cup when it's given to you. But more so, so you can recognize an empty cup when it's offered to you. You are destined to succeed, succeed. So don't worry about this offer. If this offer is not for you, for some of you, this offer will be for you. Yes. You will recognize the full cup when it comes to you. But for some of you, it will be an empty cup being offered to you. And if you don't fill up your cup first, or for yourself, you will not know the difference between a full cup and an empty cup when they bring you this. So guys, that is today's reading. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is in the description box below. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.